Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do this video to show you guys how I created these things in Canva. It's fairly simple. Um, I have Canva. I pay for the subscription. We'll just go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so um, the picture I used... I already forgot what picture I used. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, okay, so this is the picture I use. I drag it and it fills it in the whole background. And then I come over here, edit image, background remover, and then I wait for it to go. It's usually pretty good about um, getting all of it in. However, this particular one, um, her hat just wasn't, um, it just wasn't showing up. And so it was like trying to delete it. So sometimes you might have to come in here and brush it in. That's totally fine. Um, I had to brush some of her dress in too. So it just kind of happens sometimes. But uh, you go ahead and just fill in whatever you need to fill in. Okay, so we've got that. And then I went in here, I click on the slide, and so I put it to 0.3 seconds. Um, we're going to keep that one the same, obviously, because that's the picture we used. And then we did this one, so um, I just drug the picture in, and then edit, background remover, obviously drag your picture again. I'm not going to show you this one because, I mean, you guys get it right. You drag your picture over, click background remover, and if you need to tweak it any, just color it in, fill it in, and you'll be fine. You'll take two of each of the images you want. And the first one, you're always going to background remove it. And then the second one's going to be that image as a whole. Okay, so now we're going to get to our little cartoony, I don't know what kind of style this is. So I just came in here and this is actually um, from Canva. I think I just typed in retro and then I looked up photos and I found some clouds in here. So what I did with this, um, all right, so I got my picture. I went ahead and I cropped um, what I needed and I just kind of cropped that down a little bit and then edit image background remover waited it for it to do its thing it did pretty well it was nice and fast okay so shadows we'll do glow and we're gonna hit it again for settings and then um, turn your transparency all the way up first so you can actually see what you're working with. And then you can go in here and do like this kind of thing. Let me see if I can make this bigger without losing any stuff. Sometimes it's, it's weird. I don't know why it does that. Let me do this real quick. You gotta be careful because sometimes when you remove the background to some images and you try to move them around or you add an effect on them or something, they do like really weird things. <laughs> um, they'll move on you. They'll shrink on you. It's kind of weird. Now, maybe it's just mine because mine's super glitchy. I mean, it, it does say that it needs an update. So, I mean, I could just be neglecting it. But transparency all the way up. I'm going to set it to the color that I already want. And then... Um, you can have a blur. Let me show you what the blur looks. It looks kind of nice. Kind of gives you like that like halo effect. But if you take the blur off, it's more of a solid line. That's all there is to that. So once you have your little outline, your halo or whatever, you put it wherever you want it. Okay, and this is how I did things. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these pages. So I duplicated the page because it keeps this one in place for me. Control C and then Control V, which is copy and paste. And then I just kind of positioned it. It doesn't have to be super perfect by any means. Um, I just positioned it. That's all I did. There's, there's no... Um, I, God, I hit the wrong button. There's no rhyme to this madness. Okay, sorry about that. I had to pause my thing real quick. My daughter came in and she was telling me about her shirt. Um, okay, so obviously you've got your duplicates and you move them to where you want them, have them in whatever order that you would like them to be in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to duplicate this page. And what I'm going to do is on this duplicate here, 
I'm gonna just pick one random one. It doesn't have to be super, but I'm just gonna say on enter, I want you to do a little neon, little twitchy thing, okay? I'm gonna duplicate it again. I'm gonna remove it off of that one and put it on a new one and then have it on enter. And then I'm gonna go duplicate again. I'm gonna take that off because I don't, I don't know, I'm weird about it. I don't want the same one every single time. So we're just going to put it on a new one. So on one of these, you can decide whether or not like you want to add your text. Personally, I would add it on the second one that I have my full um, set of me's. <laughs> and for the text, I literally just went in here and I chose this I can and I will. It's Shrick hand. It's one of the ones that they give you as like a choice. If you just scroll down here long enough, you'll find it. If I can spell, that would be great. So obviously you just put your little thing in there. Sorry, I am like sniffling over here. I've got allergies super bad right now. We just had a ton of rain come through. We haven't had rain in a while. And you can choose here. Do you want it as the character, the word, the line, or the element? So I'm just going to copy and paste. And we still have our effects as neon. Okay, so this is what I have. I really hope that all made sense when I was going through it because I went through it pretty fast. That's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.